In this video, we will look at how fault alarms can be managed from both Spectrum OneClick and the DX NetOps portal. Fault alarms are generated when Spectrum OneClick detects an issue with a device. When this happens, the alarms are listed in the Alarms tab for the items selected in the Explorer tab. If OneClick was not integrated with DX NetOps portal, the alarms would only display in OneClick. But because OneClick is integrated with the portal, the alarms displayed in OneClick will also display in the DX NetOps portal, and the alarms can also be managed from both OneClick and the portal. This way, no matter which UI you are in, you will always see when alarms come in, and you can manage the alarms without switching UIs. To see how this works, we'll start in OneClick, where we can see the demo network is selected, and there are no alarms listed in the Alarms tab for the demo network at this time. If we switch over to the portal, we can also see on the Alarms console page that there are no alarms as well. Moving back to OneClick, some alarms are starting to come in. Then switching back to the portal, we can see the alarms are listed on the Alarm Console page as well. Now that we have some alarms coming in, we'll move back to OneClick and manage an alarm. We'll select the Chassis Down alarm and right-click on the alarm and select Acknowledge. A checkmark displays in the row with the alarm showing the alarm was acknowledged. If we move back to the portal on the Alarm Console page, we can see the Acknowledged column that the acknowledgement propagated over to the portal. Next, we can also manage alarms in the portal, and the actions will propagate back to one click. To demonstrate this, we'll select the same alarm, and then clear the alarm. Then, over in one click, we can see that the chassis down alarm we cleared in the portal is no longer listed. So, by integrating Spectrum OneClick with the DX NetOps portal, alarm management is streamlined by allowing alarm management from both OneClick and the DX NetOps portal.